I, I think to your first point on the marriage piece, I agree 100% that there's a strong correlation there. Um, that your wife's job should not be to be your wife and your emotional backboard for everything that you're going through, that you need a, um, another male in your life that you can have these conversations with um, and that you can be vulnerable with. But I think it is a problem in that, you know, we're sitting here talking about it and we don't, we don't have any idea how to do it. And so it's all about this idea of creating space. And I think, you know, we've, we've all hopefully got somebody that we can have these type of conversations with. And I think it's, it's vital. Uh, and it doesn't need to be our spouses. It doesn't need to be our significant others. Um, relationships are hard enough without that person having to also be your, you know, your, your emotional support. So I kind of wanted you to expand a little bit on that because in, I guess in my mind, like I'm, I'm married and I tell Jacob like absolutely everything. Mm -hmm. And I, I hope that he tells me absolutely everything, but I have enough trust in him to think that he does. So I just kind of want to know, like, if you could expand a little bit upon sure. that topic, like, what did you mean about that? So I think um, as a man, there's like this, there's like this feeling, especially if you're married, there's this feeling of like the need or the responsibility to provide like security and safety for your spouse. And when things are tough with your job or just emotionally where you're at, there's this kind of like conflict of like, I wanna to talk to my spouse about this that I'm going through, but when I talk to her about this, is it gonna create this uncertainty or this fear of her knowing these things that I'm going through, which will make her in turn not feel safe and secure? In a perfect world, I think you still have that conversation. But the reality is you need other people in your life that you can have those conversations with as well um, so that you can get that stuff out because the alternative is you just bottle it up and then it'll come, it'll blow at some point. Like at some point it's gonna, it's gonna come to the surface and typically that's not done in the most productive way when it's been bottled up for you know, months or years. And it's not that they don't like trust their spouse and it's not that they don't even want to talk to their spouse about it. It's just a lot of men feel like, especially like with a job, like if, if something all of a sudden happens with your job and you're like, man, I, don't, I may lose my job or you know, I may be in the wrong job, it can feel very uncomfortable to have that conversation with your spouse who's, you know, whether they're working or not, like your household is very much impacted by your job. And if they're all of a sudden like, well, I, th I thought everything was going great with your job. I mean, there's an issue at work and, and that would make them feel, you know, unsafe. And, you know, this innate sense of providing and protecting that most men should have, um, it starts to chip away at that. And so I think it's just, it's super important to have, you know, someone of the same sex, like another guy that you can talk to about real stuff. Um, that you can talk to about the struggles that you're going through and that can encourage you through that. And, you know, hopefully through that process, it should get you to a place where then you can talk to your spouse about it in a more constructive way. And in a way that, that you know, yeah, I'm struggling with this, but here's what I'm seeing happening or here's what I know is working behind the scenes to where it's not like this, I think I'm about to get fired. Okay, great. Well. I think I'm about to get fired, but here's what I'm going to do next, and here's how I feel about that, and and it just creates a much better dialogue when you when you are talking to your spouse. Does that answer your question? It does. I uh, I think my concern was just that like you would never bring that topic to your spouse, but you're no, saying no. add in other people to your life to have a conversation about. Yeah, yeah. It's adding other people in, and it's and it's being able to come into that conversation with more like solutions already kind of brewing to provide that just added sense of security to where it's not like, you know, here's this problem. I have no idea what to do. I mean, in a perfect world, you should have that conversation. But man, that conversation is a whole lot easier when you said when you say like, I'm having this problem and here's what I think the solution might be. And to be for them to be a part of that solution making process, not for them to just be like a shoulder to cry on.